Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a SuperTech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3700 Madrona Drive here in Newburgh. Uh, we're located, we're back out here for a second time. I was out here the other day, there was some question over what was going on here. Um, someone thought there may have been nothing. Um, I put a riser on the camera head here so we can get a better view up at the top of the pipe here. You can see how just, it, it looks like the, bottom, the top of the pipe's been busted through. You've got a, it looks like a piece of dirt or something there hanging down about an inch from the top of the pipe. Uh, but that that does not look like good intact pipe there. It looks like it's been broken through. So I'm also flooding the ground around this area here to see if we get any water coming through. But that, that to me looks like it has been damaged there. Well, we've had the ground flooded out here for quite a while now, probably at least, oh, 25 minutes or so. Quite a, quite a bit of water was run with the garden hose. Um, anyway, I'm not seeing a whole any water coming through here. It's it's one of those things you may you may not. It's, I, I don't know exactly what has occurred at this spot here, but when you get up underneath this, uh, you've got a chunk of something right there, especially in the middle. It's uh, almost most, almost an inch and a half long hanging down there into the pipe, or pretty close to it anyway. To me, it looks like the top of the pipe is broken, and you've got dirt coming down into the top of the pipe. The the best way to get a good look at this would be to do a hydrojet and try and blast whatever's there out of the way. It's going to let you get a clearer picture of stuff because you'll get dirt and things. Uh, if it is open or broken open to the ground, you'll get dirt kind of clogging up holes and things. It just makes it that much harder to see. Um, so anyway, with the riser on here, though, we get a much better um, angle on this and view of it. I mean, you, you can see how much that stuff is sticking down there. Uh, I mean, it, it could just be debris. Um, I'm just having a hard time seeing how it would have got here and isolated to this very, very spot and nowhere else. We do have, it looks like a test Y or test T coming in here, um, but that shouldn't really explain where this debris is coming from. We shouldn't have stuff coming down a test Y or test T. And there's a there's just a lot of gunk right here built up at this particular spot. Uh, it just looks open to the ground to me and like you've got water and dirt and stuff that either it got, it got broken, stuff came into here and it's, it may never move again possibly. Uh, this might have happened long, long ago when the line was being installed for all I know. Uh, but it's, it, this is definitely worth doing a hydrojet on to try and get a better picture of what's going on here. But, I, I mean, you've, you've clearly got stuff that's quite large jutting down from the top of the pipe there. 